Hi, my name is Linnea. I'm a junior from Watertown, South Dakota. I went to St. Martin's Lutheran School in Watertown. Our text today comes from Exegol chapter 1, uh, verses 27 to 28. I saw that from what appeared to be his waist up, he looked like glowing metal, as if full of fire, and that from there down he looked like fire, and brilliant light surrounded him, like the appearance of a rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day. So was the radiance around him. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. When I saw it, I fell face down, and I heard the voice of one speaking. This is the word of the Lord. The prophet Ezekiel was living in exile. That's important to know. The people of Israel had been taken from their homeland by the Babylonians, and they lived without the freedom and familiarity they once enjoyed. But, then again, exile is what they, is what they deserved. God had warned them. Continuous rebellion against his perfect will and disregard for his loving promises would mean destruction and captivity. How difficult to live as a believer during the period of, of exile. How could God make all things right again? He would allow the very place of his glory, the temple in Jerusalem, to be demolished. Where was God, uh, where was God is this bleak world? The Lord, the God of Israel, was mocked by the, pa by the pagan peoples who captured them and despised by many of his very own people. Didn't God see this? Didn't God know? When and how would salvation come? The exasperated believer still cries out, O Lord, come, quickly come. We long for peace and the comfort of our salvation. As we wait, Advent is our season of waiting. We need to learn the lessons from Ezekiel. The scene is bright and brilliant. The glory of the Lord appeared to Ezekiel. Son of man, the Lord said, I am sending you to the Israelites, to a rebellious nation. Do not be afraid. You are a watchman for the house of Israel. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel did prophesy. A performance prophet, he used words and actions to prophesy both judgment and hope to work repentance. The Lord was and remains in control. The vision was awesome, reassur was awesome reassurance. Ezekiel's prophecy supplies plenty of evidence that the Lord is always true to his word. It concludes with an extended vision of God's glory returning to the temple. The Savior Jesus, foreshadowed by that temple, rescued us on a cross just outside Jerusalem's walls, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two, finished. Our Savior lives. He will, mark Ezekiel's words, Come again in glory, rejoice, and we pray. Keep me patient, Lord, as I wait for your salvation. Amen.